What's up y'all? So I'm back with another video today and so today we're going to be covering the third part of my how to survive your AP classes um, as part of my series and so today we are covering the AP computer science principles course. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe and like button to stay tuned for future videos and without further ado let's get started. Alright so my first tip for you guys is to actually just get the Barron's AP CSP review book. Now I know this book is typically used for reviewing but the thing is with AP CSP is there, as, there isn't actually much resources available online since it's actually a very new AP course relatively to other courses. Um, you know, you're not going to find as many things online as you are, say, Calc BC or Physics C or whatever it might be. Um, and so you want to get that book and it'll go step by step in every single big idea. One thing that's really different about CSP is that the course isn't actually formatted by units like it used to. It's actually formatted by five big ideas or it's six. I kind of forgot, but you get the point. And so it's going to take you step by step in those big ideas. Now your teacher might actually put the stuff in units right throughout the year. And maybe unit one, for example, ours covered topics like collaboration, the digital divide, etc., which were all scattered between different big ideas. And so you want to just use those big ideas, um, you know, reviews, just review it. What I recommend is just go over your teacher slides first, obviously, because, you know, your test is probably going to mimic those that teacher information first. But as soon as you get that done, please go to the Barron's book and review it. It's a really short thing. Like it's really only like 15, 20 pages. If you read for each big idea. The content isn't even difficult, guys. Just push through it. I know, I know you guys might hate reading, but just do it and it'll make you successful in the class. All right, so my second tip for you all is to focus on these subjective questions. So now what I mean by this is I want you to go check out the link in the description of this video. It's gonna take you to APCSP College Board website and it's gonna outline what specific standards are covered in each big idea of the exam. Now, with that said, what you're going to notice is some of them look a little bit more iffy than others. You know, for example, collaboration is a lot, you know, more subjective than describing pseudocode, right? You know, coding is a little bit more straightforward, whereas collaboration can be a little bit iffy in terms of if you ask someone what collaboration means to them, you might get a different response varying by person. And so that's really the point where you want to get out your Barron's book and do a little bit further review, right? There's a paragraph on collaboration, read through it, right? Go find any resource you can online. You know, like I said, your options are limited. So take what you can get, you know, go to Quizlet, see what they, APCSP, what is, what is defined as collaboration, right? Et cetera. Just, just hammer those subjective topics and you will do good on that. Now, my third tip for y'all is to use Khan Academy. Now, normally I'd recommend a YouTuber who is really well-versed in this area, but there isn't really one for APCSP, but there is Khan Academy, which is a great resource. Um, and I know they are affiliated with College Board in some ways. I'm not really sure how. So it's pretty safe to say that this material will definitely help you prepare for the AP test as well as getting a grade in your class. One thing to note about the AP CSP exam is that there's no FRQ on it, right? Instead, it's just an MCQ for 70% of your grade and then the other 30% comes from a create task project, which is basically just a coding project that I'll cover in a later video if you want me to. Comment below if you want me to do that. Now, what I want you to do is if if and only if you get through the first two tips I have and go over your teacher slide and you have some leftover time, go to Khan Academy. You know, the information is really simplified and that's all you need. Just make sure you can, you know, explain every single concept that's on that, right? You don't necessarily need to do all the quizzes and stuff because that can be a little bit time consuming, I know. But just ask yourself, can I explain this to a five-year-old? And you will basically be able to introspect to see if you understood the content. So my fourth and final tip, which is really a bonus tip for you guys, is to simply not stress. I know how daunting this can sound, but really CSP is not that difficult in a VP class in terms of content um, and the amount of content compared to other classes like Calc BC, Physics C, et cetera. Um, you know, there's really not much content. It's only, you know, five or six big ideas. The content is pretty straightforward. You can take it really, you could take this class in middle school and you'll still be fine as far as taking the prereqs. And so just really make sure you spend the proper time you need to learn the concepts and solidify your understanding on those subjective topics. And trust me, you will be fine on this. All right, so I appreciate y'all sticking around till the end of this video. So be sure you comment below if you want me to actually cover the create task project. Um, I can go over my project, how I got a five on that and how you can do the same. Um, and be sure you hit the like button and subscribe button to stay tuned for future videos. See you in the next one.